My name is Bob Rambusek. I'm a physical therapist here at uh, St. David's Neuromuscular Retraining Program. Um, we work with a, a doctor out of the University of Miami, Dr. Brucker, who's developed a technique for using biofeedback for um, folks that have had a non-progressive central nervous system disorder. What we basically do is we kind of hook people up with surface electrodes to different muscle groups, and we know which part of the brain and spinal cord innervate those muscles. And that, that allows the person in real time to kind of see what kind of signal they're sending down from the brain through the spinal cord and into the particular muscle cells. Um, it's kind of nice because otherwise people have no idea whether they're being successful, getting signal to where they want to, whether they're sending conflicting signals. Um, and all they can do is just kind of guess at what they're doing. Here they can actually see it on the screen of what they're doing and when they're being successful. Um, if they get signal to the appropriate muscle group, we, we draw a line on the computer screen and their brain tries to find new neural pathways down to that particular muscle group. Um, in a lot of cases, like spinal cord injury, it's just a question of getting signal to the muscles and utilizing what we have. And then over a period of time, if there's some repair, we could recruit more, more um, muscles to help out with function. And in the case of stroke, a lot of times we're actually getting conflicting information going to opposite muscle groups. So we can actually um, send, send more signal to the muscle that we intend to use and relax the muscle that's kind of fighting with the muscle that we're trying to use. So we can kind of improve coordination and get rid of a lot of these uh, the patterns that you see with folks with strokes that have kind of, you know, flexed arms and have to move their legs in a stiff manner. So we can kind of clean up their walking pattern, make them more functional. So the whole idea behind this uh, program is it enables or empowers the person to kind of make these corrections and utilize the what we call neuroplasticity of the brain to kind of help out. Um, traditionally, we've been kind of, so kind of caught up in this um, model of structure and function that we kind of. We're just finding out now that the brain has so much more of a capacity of finding uh, alternative pathways and healing itself and substituting different neural cells for function. But the person doesn't know how to utilize that, and that's what this work basically tries to help them with. The brain is actually doing pretty good from a functional point of view, but he's, sometimes when he's trying to do a coordinated movement, there's more than just one muscle firing at a time. And by seeing not only the muscle that he wants to use, but the opposite muscle group, we can learn to turn off the opposite muscle group and increase signal or muscle recruitment to the particular muscle he's trying to do so that it smooths out his movements. And once you learn this stuff, you know it's there. So um, he can put it to use. Obviously, the big name of the game is to gain function. And in this case, it's quality of function. So in Ryan's case, it's just going to help him with a lot of his hobbies, his karate, and uh, other, he's an active guy. So uh, all of his other little hobbies. You know, because it's a little frustrating sometimes when you're trying to do a fine motor skill yeah. and you can't do it, but we can actually clean it up pretty well just by having him look at the computer skill. And he's kind of unique in the sense that he kind of puts it to use almost immediately. <laughs> so it's kind of nice because he tried practice it once or twice and it's just very good carryover from session to session, which should impact his uh, you know, the quality of his ADLs and his uh, functional activities at home.